So now students, let's uh, come to the actual topic, the magnetron symmetry. The student, the difference is quite mm. obvious that the magnetron sputtering and in just simple direct current sputtering device the difference between these two is just a magnetic field so the magnetron sputtering basically use a magnetic field to confine the ionized ion near the surface of the source or target material and so the maximum amount of the ion basically bombard the target or surface uh, as, as target or source material surface due to a magnetic field hence the maximum amount of the uh, target or a source material is basically sputtered or is basically removed uh, from the surface of the source material whereas in case of general direct current or planar um, uh, sputtering uh, devices don't have magnetic field so they basically sputter minimum amount of the a source material as compared to the magnetron uh, sputtering in, uh, instruments. Let's explain the magnetron uh, sputtering device by a schematic diagram. So dear student, this is the simplest uh, schematic of the magnetron uh, sputtering instrument. Please note that this setup is a schematic representation of direct current magnetron sputtering instrument. Just didn't please note that the key difference between a simple direct current magnetron sputtering and the uh, sim simple direct current sputtering and the direct current magnetron sputtering is this magnetic field. Okay, So basically the magnetron sputtering instrument have a magnetic poles inside it whereas in general direct current uh, sputtering instrument they have just a cathode and anode which are connected to a high potential source so let's explain the magnetron uh, sputtering instrument in a very brief way please note that just when the magnetron uh, sputtering instrument have a reaction chamber okay so this is a reaction chamber of the magnetron sputtering instrument or in simple words this is a schematic representation of a reaction chamber of the magnetron sputtering instrument okay the magnetron sputtering instrument consists of a cathode this is a cathode Okay, and the material which we want to deposit or which you want to sputter is basically is known as a target or source material is placed on the surface of this cathode okay so the target material in magneton sputter ring instrument is placed on the cathode okay and the other part of the magneton sputtering instrument is known as anode this is the anode. Anode is the positively charged part of the magnetron sputtering instrument, whereas the cathode is negatively charged part of the magnetron sputtering instrument. Okay. So please note that the cathode and anode are connected with direct current. Okay. Source. So the direct current source is connected with cathode and anode. Okay. So please note that here in this schematic represent the anode is connected with ground. So it is, we can connect it to the ground uh, and we can create a maximum potential at anode, at cathode, but in, in different instrument of magnetic transporting, the anode and cathode both may be connected with a high potential source. Okay, now the in this reaction chamber of the magnetron sputtering instrument it is connected with a vacuum pumping system this vacuum pumping system of the magnetron sputtering instrument is usually a rotary vacuum setup or thermomolecular setup there could be a possibility of diffusion pumping system but they usually cause the impurities due to a vacuum due to an oil which are basically used in those pumping systems so 
mostly those turbine uh, the those vacuum uh, pumping systems are avoided which are basically creating oil in or vapors inside the reaction chamber so the reaction chamber of the magneton sputtering instrument is connected with a vacuum pump which basically create a vacuum around 10 raised to power minus 6 tor inside the reaction chamber of the magneton sputtering instrument okay so now after creating a vacuum inside the magnetron sputtering reaction chamber the case which is basically an inert case is incorporated inside the reaction chamber of the magnetron sputtering instrument okay so when the gaze is incorporated which is basically an inner gaze incorporated inside the reaction chamber the high potential is applied across the cathode and anode of the reaction chamber okay so this is basically a gaze which is which is incorporated inside the reaction and chamber so when the high potential which is in form of direct current is applied inside the reaction chamber on between the cathode and anode this high potential will result in ionization so this this case will basically ionize uh, ionization ionize and this ionized gas basically have a positive charge this blue one okay so this has a positive charge and whereas the yellow one is inert gas okay so this yellow one yellow these circular yellows basically they get ionized and they are converted into an ion this is the bluish one or, or grayish one so they basically these ions have a positively charged so when the inert gas when the potential is high potential is applied across the cathode and anode the gas which is inner one the yellow one get ionized and it's converted into positive and negative ions the this purple one basically or bluish one represent <clears throat> positively ion so when the inert gas get ionized due to higher potential applied across the cathode and anode this ionized inner gas will have a positively charge and it will travel toward the cathode so dear student you know that opposite polarity basically in uh, charges basically interact with each other so these ion will travel toward the cathode and cathode has target or source material so when the positively ion interact or bombarded onto a target and source material they basically remove they basically sputter or physically remove the target and source material so this target and source material will travel toward the surface of the anode and in this way they are deposited on the surface of the anode okay so now question here is that why the magnetic field is applied across the cathode this is very important dear student please note that in order to explain the reason why the magnetic field is applied on the cathode in magneton sputtering i need to use the role of the magnetic field on the positive or negative charges by representing a schematic diagram okay let's discuss it district i'm sure that you have an idea of lorentz equation so according to the lorentz the when the electric charge move in the magnetic field the magnetic field and electric field become 90 angle or perpendicular to each other so when the electric charge move in the magnetic field this electric charge will start to spiral at due to a magnetic field so the electric field will move the electric charge along the forward direction whereas the magnetic field will spiral at will circulate the electric charge so dear student this is the reason 
that's why the magnetron sputtering instrument use magnetic field to circulate to spiralate the ionized species of inert gas because those ionized species have a positive charge so when the magnetic field is applied on those ionized species these ionized species will spiralate will circulate near the surface of the source of the target material so maximum amount of the ions will basically interact with the target or source material so in this way we will get maximum amount of sputtering from the target or the source material let's make it easy by explaining it with the magnetron sputtering schematic diagram or magnetron sputtering instrument schematic diagram sorry student when the ions from the inert gas basically travel toward the surface of the target material the target material gets sputtered now the magnetic poles or magnetic field is basically present near the target or the source material 8 cathode so this is cathode and these are the magnetic poles which are basically present near the surface of the target and or source material in the cathode it could be placed behind the target behind the cathode uh, near the surface of the target or source material so these magnetic poles basically in magnetron a sputtering instrument generate a magnetic field of lines okay so these magnetic field of lines have a certain amount of strength dear student please note that the strength of the magnetic field used in magnetron sputtering define the rate of confinement of the ion near the surface of the target or source material so maximum is the strength of the magnetic field maximum will be the interaction of ion to the source or target material okay so these magnetic poles will basically when the ion will come near the surface of the target source material these magnetic pole due to magnetic field will interact with the charged ion and they will confine the charged ion near the surface of this target or source material so the maximum amount of ion will be near the surface of the source material and they will result into a maximum amount of the sputtering of the source or target material. So this maximum amount of the ion will result into a maximum amount of sputtering or maximum amount of physical removal of target material. And then when this target material is physically removed this target material will start to travel this yellow one will start to travel and will read to the surface of the a node on which the substrate is present okay so basically this target material will come toward the surface of the substrate a 8 a node and will result into a deposition of condensed thin film so in this way with magnetron sputtering we basically achieve highest amount of uniform thin film deposition so this is basically an overall schematic representation in a simplest way for the magnetron sputtering instrument so dear student in next slide i will briefly explain about the various types of magnetron sputtering instrument like what are the different types of magnetron sputtering instrument which are used in industry especially microelectronic industry because this technique is a core part of the microelectronic before discussing the types of magnetron sputtering let's discuss that what are the types of magnetron sputtering sources like what kind of magnets basically what different categories of magnets are used in magnetron sputtering instrument 
as a magnetron sputtering source. The student, please note that there are two main type of magnetron sputtering sources or two main type of magnets which are basically used in magnetron sputtering instrument. The magnets magnetic source which are used in magnetron sputtering are balance magnetron sputtering source. The student please note that the balance magnetron sputtering source mean that we use a balanced magnetic field near the cathode uh, where the source or tractor is present. So basically the balanced magnetic field in magnetron sputtering instrument used a uniform magnet throughout the target and source material so a uniform amount of target or source material is basically removed by using balanced magnetron sputtering source please note that there is also another type of magnetic field which is known as unbalanced magnetron sputtering source that is also used in magnetron sputtering instrument the student, why unbalanced magnetic field is used in the magnetron sputtering instrument, in some magnetron sputtering instrument. Please note that most commonly balanced magnetic field is used in magnetron sputtering instrument, but there are some cases where unbalanced magnetic field is used near the source material in magnetron sputtering instrument. Then why we need unbalanced magnetron sputtering uh, setups. Please note that the unbalanced magnets are usually used in magnetron sputtering where we want to deposit multi-component systems. Okay, let's say we want to deposit aluminium cobalt alloy. So the source material which is placed at the cathode have aluminium and cobalt in a separate pocket near the or on the cathode the aluminium and cobalt which we want to deposit have a different ability of being sputtered they require different magnetic field strength to be removed from the cathode uh, as, a, uh, as a source material okay so if in case we want to deposit different multi-component systems we basically used this unbalanced force so magnetic field for the cobalt the magnetic pole will have different strength as strength and for aluminium they will have different strength and on the best of that strength the ion inside the magnetron sputtering instrument will interact with the aluminium and cobalt so this is basically a major reason for using unbalanced magnetron sputtering source usually the uh, sputtering instrument use a single component system they basically deposit a single type of materials okay uh, thin as a thin film so they use a balanced magnetron sputtering source and it is most common okay